Welcome to today's class. Today we're going to practice in a chair. I've got a nice um, head to toe, little stretching and um, movement class, just sitting in a chair. So you'll be surprised at um, how much you can do while seated in a chair. Props that we need today, so you might have to take a second to go gather these. We need some kind of a belt or a strap, um, a bathrobe belt works fine, um, a scarf, uh, anything that's a little bit long so you can be about this wide and kind of, you know, you're pulling on it, not hard, but something that you can kind of pull, pull against, okay? So you need that. And then a rolled up blanket or a rolled up towel. I have a small blanket here, a towel would work great rolled up just like this and we're going to put those to the side so if you need to take a minute and go gather those two things the other thing is you'll need a chair i just have a regular kitchen chair here um you could use it's nice because it's got some um back spindles that, that we can use but you can use any chair a rocking chair probably not so good but you could sit on your couch, um, any chair. It could be a folding chair. So uh, even a um, stool, but you do have to be able to have your feet on the floor, but a stool would work as well. You don't need something with a back because we're not gonna actually sit back in our chair. We're gonna sit forward. So if I can just turn this real quick, you can see that I'm sitting um, basically just on my, my bum cheeks and, and I'm able to sit up nice and tall and my feet are flat on the floor. Okay. So that's how we're going to sit. You don't get to sit all comfy. All right. Well, not that this isn't comfy. This is great posture, right? Hope you can see my feet there. I think we're okay. All right. So like I said, a little forward on your chair, your feet are flat on the floor. Let's put our hands on our thighs. See if you can feel your spine rising up as your, your uh, bottom half of your body is relaxing down towards the floor. See if you can rise up out of your tailbone and up through the spine and crown of your head so that you feel nice and tall. Relax your shoulders, don't let them come up. Relax your shoulders down. Relax your jaw. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes right here. If not, that's okay. Keep your eyes open. And would you like to take your attention to your breath? Don't have to do anything, change anything, just attention to the breath coming in on the inhale and out on the exhale. Just some of the first things you notice as we begin to bring our attention right here. One of the things uh, that I love about yoga is it allows us to practice leaving behind those things that are going around and around in our in our heads. It gives us a, a little respite of rest, a little respite from the busy, busy minds that we usually have and gives us a chance to focus on ourselves. So take a couple more breaths here. And just noticing, just relaxing. And then we'll take a few more breaths. I just want you to see if you can take the breath a little bit deeper. Can you feel your lungs a little bit more? And then exhale. So one way to maybe help get a deeper breath is to really on your exhale, press your belly in, your belly button to your spine to make room for more air. And then see what happens on that inhale. So just do that for a couple breaths because it's not really natural and maybe it doesn't feel really good to you and if it doesn't feel really good to you then just go to your natural breathing we don't want to cause any undue stress we're trying to relieve our stress right all right let's take one more deep breath inhale and then as you exhale go ahead and open your mouth <sighs> and let out a nice long sigh. Let's do that one more time. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Letting your body relax. 
All right, let's just start with our hands and wrists. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to make a fist really tight and then I want you to open up and spread your fingers as wide as you can. All right, you can turn your hands whichever way you want, making a fist and then really spreading the fingers wide. Maybe ha, like you're gonna scare somebody, yeah? Fist and boo, I don't know, whatever. All right, tight and wide, tight and wide. Very good, one more tight and wide. All right, moving your fingers like you're playing the piano. All right, let's go ahead and make a fist, not tight, not tight, just a little fist. And then I want you to take wrist circles. So keeping, keeping your forearm still, I'm gonna come up close to the camera. So it's not, you're making a wrist circle, but you're not moving your arm, you're just gonna move your wrist. So it may make the circle a little bit smaller, all right? Make them as big as you can without moving any part of your arm. Really isolating in that. All right, and we don't want any pain. So anything, if it's causing you pain, dial it back, let's change direction. Just making the circle as big as you can sans pain. Very good, all right, a couple more. I'm gonna get into a few nooks and crannies here today. This might be one of them. All right, very good. All right, give those wrists a shake and your arms a shake. All right, let's go to our neck. All right, so we're seated here. I want you to go ahead and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Your shoulders are soft, so let, your, let them relax down and let your head be heavy. Nice, heavy head, feeling a nice stretch along the top of your shoulder all the way up to your ear. And still breathing, so no holding of breath. See if you can take some nice, easy, deep breaths. We're going to go ahead and drop our chin to our chest so moving the stretch into the back of our neck again let your head be very heavy take three or four breaths here relax your jaw keep your shoulders soft it's releasing tension in that neck and shoulder area one more breath Very good, all right, let's take that opposite ear to the shoulder. So I'm going to the right side, right ear to right shoulder. And again, keeping the shoulders soft. See if you can drop that opposite shoulder even more. Another breath here. Very good, all right, from here, we're gonna take our chin up to the sky. So I want you to be careful of the back of your neck so we're not scrunching the back of our neck, we're actually lifting our chin towards the sky. You can even jut your chin out a little bit to feel a stretch along the front of your neck. Keep your shoulders soft. And even though you're jutting your chin, can you relax your jaw? Keep your tongue relaxed as well. And if that bothers your neck, then bring it down. We don't want any pain. We're not trying to create pain. We're trying to release muscles and tension. All right, and then gently bring your chin down and then let's uh, do some work with our jaw. So we just want to open your mouth really, really wide and gently close. I'm sure this is very attractive on film, but that's okay, don't worry. No one's watching you, they're only watching me. So open your mouth wide and close. Let's open one more time. 
Move your jaw side to side. Anything else that feels good with the jaw. And gently close. Very pretty, I'm sure. Very good. All right, let's move on to our shoulders. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a hug. So I'm going to place one arm over the top of the other and just reach back. Doesn't matter how far, but try to reach back as far as you can. Give yourself a nice tight hug and then gently twist side to side. Just being very gentle, feeling a nice opening stretch across between the back, between the shoulder blades. All right, relax, shake out your arms. And we'll do that again, only this time the other arm's gonna be on top as you cross. And again, as tight a hug as you can get. And then gently side to side, nice and slow, nice and easy. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Don't let them crawl up like that. <sighs> and keep breathing. If you notice you're holding your breath, that's a sign. Well, it's a sign that you're not breathing. It's also a sign that you just need to relax. Holding our breath is a sign of tension. All right, and let those go and relax. Okay, we're gonna do some shoulder circles. All right, normally our shoulder circles look like this, but I want you to make them a little bigger and I want you to take your attention to your shoulder blades. All right, so I'm gonna widen, as I bring my shoulders forward, I'm gonna widen the shoulder blades, all right? I don't think you can see them, I'd show them, but I don't think so. Widen the shoulder blades, come forward, take your shoulders up, and then as you go back, press the shoulder blades together, all right? So this is really about moving the shoulder blades. Can you take your attention back there? We need those shoulder blades to be able to glide and move along our back nice and smooth so that we don't come become all tensed up all right so best as you can all right let's change directions now as i go back i'm going to press the shoulder blades together raise them up and then as i come forward spread the shoulder blades apart and down so obviously my the tops of my shoulders are moving as well you can see my arms that's all helping my shoulder blades move, I think. All right. Maybe it's easier for you. We can do this too. Spread the shoulder blades, press them together. Widen, press together. We can do that too, so let's do that now. Widen, press them together. Let's see if we can raise and lower. So shoulder blades, can you raise them and lower them? Raise, lower. So this might take some work. Sometimes our brain becomes disconnected from these movements. The pathways become, uh, they just aren't used that much. So sometimes it's hard to get, you know, our brain connected to moving those parts of our bodies. All right, very good, that's enough. Shake those out. Now see, I, I feel tight right here from doing that, but that's okay. It'll, it'll loosen up here as we go. All right, so. Let's take our belt. Hopefully you found something that will work. And we're going to take and we're going to straighten our arms and I'm going to take them wide and I'm going to take them up. You're probably not. All right. I'm not going to take them up as high because it looks like I'm going to get cut off here. But what I'm going to do for now is just go side to side. So my arms are straight. I've got them up and maybe your arms don't go up over your head and that's okay. Maybe they go right here. Again, we're not, we don't want to create pain. So I want you to take your arms as high as you can without pain. And again, so maybe that's right here and that's fine. I'm just going side to side, just getting some movement in the shoulder. Maybe let's do this. We move the shoulders like this side to side and we're going up and down at the same time. I like that. Just kind of making things up as I go here. Nice for the shoulders. See if you can keep them away from your ears as you raise up. Don't let, let them raise up like this. So just keep them relaxed and keep the movement 
in the joint. All right, one more time up. All right, so now we're up, and now we're gonna do this. We're gonna take one forward and one back. There we go. And we can do the same thing. We're gonna take the arms down lower, still moving forward to back, and then we'll move them back up higher like this. And down. And back up. Don't forget to breathe. Oh. Good, one more time, back up. And wide and down. Okay, option here. If you have a chair like mine, that's got something that you can hold on to in the back, otherwise you can hold your belt and take it back behind you as well. I'm gonna turn here. So now we're gonna open the chest a little bit. We've worked on the shoulders. I'm gonna rotate so my palms are up and I'm gonna take my hands back to the back of my chair and see if I can hold on to the edge. Now, one thing I want you to do is I want you to bring your ribs down. So as we do this, I can feel my ribs popping up in my chest, moving up towards the sky, but I want you to bring your ribs in and your chest down, okay? Maybe you've got room you can move in. Because I wanna press my, my elbows towards each other as we do this, okay? Now, if you don't have a chair like this, but you still have your belt, you can do the same thing, holding your belt like this. Okay, and pulling it apart, pressing the elbows together and pulling the belt apart. All right, keep those ribs down towards your spine. I'm gonna move back to my chair here. Very nice chest opening here. Let's take three more breaths. Hmm, two more. Very nice opening when we have been sitting, right? As we sit, very good release. Our shoulders tend to round. So it's nice to rotate the arms open and back. Okay, excellent chest opening. Okay, let's move on to our hips. So we wanna keep our hip strength so that we can walk. walk, uh, keep our balance better, all these things, right? So what we're gonna do, and what I, what I wanna work on today is the um, side of our hips and strengthening there. So what we're gonna do is the first thing, and you can hold on to the side of your chair if you need to, we're gonna keep our knee bent, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our right leg and we're gonna make circles, okay? So my foot stays off the floor, and I'm gonna make as big a circle as I can. Now, again, we don't want any pain. So if you're feeling a twitch or a pain somewhere, make your circle a little bit smaller, okay? But make it as big as you can without any pain. I can feel that already, how about you? Very good, our body is still and we're just moving from our hip. All right, let's change direction. Now, if you get tired, you can rest. Just rest down and then come back when you're ready, okay? Continue breathing. One of the hardest things might be, if this is um, something that you don't do often, this kind of practice, we might hold our breaths because we're kind of concentrating. I want you to continue to focus and make sure that you're breathing. This is a great exercise. I don't know about you, I'm feeling it, good. All right, let's stop and place that down, all right? Go ahead and straighten that leg. I'm just gonna take it back and forth. All right, very good. All right, let's go to the other leg, all right? You may find each side is different. Most uh, sides of our body, whatever we're doing, are different, whatever. More and one's stronger, uh, one's got more movement, uh, so it's, in, it's interesting to notice. So I want you to think about that. How is this different on this side than it was on the other side? Maybe you don't have any pain or whatever. Just notice. I'm keeping, keeping my foot lightly flexed. 
Very good. And then we'll change direction. Strengthening muscles, using the joint, getting some movement in that lovely hip joint. All right, one more there. And rest, all right, just straighten those legs. Let's go ahead and take them. I'm gonna rotate, you can't see my feet. Maybe you can, there you go. In and out, doesn't have to be fast. In and out like that. Very good. All right, let's do one more with the hip. And this time we're gonna just lift and we're gonna move it out to the side. Back in, all right. Still working on some side to side movement. So if we think about our daily movements, if you're sitting, maybe uh, walking is your form of exercise, which is terrific. Think about the movement of your hips. It's like this, isn't it? How often do we move our hips like this? And this is what um, the side to side motion is what's important actually in keeping our gait, our steps, our feet able to lift off the ground. So this is very important. I'm not lifting my leg very high. Good, let's do three more. Again, if you get tired, please rest and then come back when you're ready. Last one. Excellent, all right. You can shake that leg out. Let your foot kind of move in and out. Very good, all right. Last one on this side, just barely lifting off so that my leg is pretty even and in and out. Again, I'm keeping my foot lightly flexed and moving the hip in and out, the knee in and out. Let's do a couple couple more. Are you still breathing? I'm sure you're still breathing. Are you paying attention to your breath? How about that? Are you still paying attention to your breath? <laughs> All right, one more. And relax. All right, very good. Let's straighten those legs one more time and go ahead and windshield wiper those feet back and forth, your knees, your thigh bones, All right, very good. All right, that was good for the hips. Let's go to the back of the leg and we're just gonna do a nice little stretch. I'm gonna turn to the side, you can stay this way, but um, I think maybe you can't see my feet uh, when I'm turned that way. My cameraman went on vacation, so I'm, I'm videoing myself. All right, I'm gonna straighten my right leg and I'm gonna press my heel out, all right, and raise my toes up. And I'm gonna push through my heel here. Now, you probably feel that in the back of your leg. Maybe you're still sitting up straight and that's enough for you. Maybe you even have to bend your knee a little bit. That's okay, all right? So, finding a spot where you can feel some stretch, not any pain, not any tingling, nothing like that. All right, maybe you can move forward. That's about where I can go, where I can feel a nice stretch all along the back of my leg, especially in the upper back of the thigh, all right? And I'm gonna stay here, and I'm gonna breathe for a couple breaths. My toes are pointed to the sky, and I'm pushing through that heel. Again, relax your jaw. Relax the parts of your body that you aren't, don't need to be tense. Can you feel tension in your arms, somewhere in your arms, anywhere? Can you relax places that have tension that don't need to have right now? All right, take a couple more breaths here. All right, very good. All right, come on up. You can bend that leg and we'll bend the other one. So be careful of your knee. Don't let your knee lock or move into um, hyper extension there. 
So you might keep just a slight bend in your knee if you need to. And again, I'm pushing through that heel. My toes are pointed towards the sky. Finding your spot, not too much, not too little. Okay, so I'm gonna take my torso forward and take my attention to my breath and the sensations I feel in my body again. If you feel some tight spots, see if you can get them to relax. Maybe back here in your glutes, can you get that to relax just enough? So you don't need to be clenched. That's it, are you clenching anywhere? So it doesn't need to be clenched. Unclench and relax. A couple more breaths. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and come on up. Bend those knees again. Okay, let's take our rolled up towel and we'll move on to our calves. So I'm gonna place this in front of me, right, right where my feet sit. And I'm gonna place the balls of my feet on the blanket as I press my heels towards the floor. So let me do that to the side again. Maybe you can see a little bit better. I've got my toes and my the balls on my feet on the blanket, and then I'm gonna press my heels towards the floor. And hopefully you can feel that. We're stretching back here. You might even feel it up here uh, on your shins. But if you need more, if that's not enough, you can move the towel back closer to you. And the same thing. So the farther back you move the towel and the harder it is for you to get your heels down, that will stretch your calves more, okay? A good calf stretch. This is probably uh, done better standing, but this will work for now. Um, I do some reading of a gal named uh, Katie Bowman, and a calf stretch is one of the stretches that she says you should do every single day. Every single day. So if you are interested in doing it every single day and this isn't quite doing it, you can also stand and do the same thing. So I've got my, you can do it one leg at a time. I've got my toes up, my heels down. Okay, take another breath or two there. All right, very good. Place that to the side. And let's finish up with our ankles and feet. So I've got, um, back to the front here, I've got my heels on the floor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just raise as high as I can my heels and press my toes into the floor and lower. So as I set our breath as I inhale, I'm gonna lift my heels, press the toes into the floor. Exhale, release heels to floor. Very good, inhale, raise up and exhale down. So you're really pressing, especially your big toe into the floor as you rise up. Can you do that? Very good. Let's do three more. Press, press, press down with your big, big toe. Exhale, heels down. Good, two more. And last one. And down. All right, very good. All right, let's lift your right leg. Knee is bent. And from here, I want you to make as big of circles as you can with your foot. So, as big as you can. Don't just do it little. I want you to take it to the extreme level of uh, flexibility you have in your foot, okay? So you're kind of pointing as you go down. You can flex as you come up. All right, and change direction. Ankle flexibility is very necessary also for walking, balancing. 
All right. And two more. I have a lot of crackling going on. All right, very good. All right, last one, other foot. Again, as possible, as big as possible. And don't forget to breathe. And change direction. All right, very good. All right, we're gonna finish with just again, going back to our breathing. Um, as I sit here, I'm feeling like I might need a little stretch on my outer hip. Um, so here's some options as we just sit here quietly. If you are able to cross your ankle over your knee, this would be perfect. It gives you a nice, easy stretch along the outside of your hip. If that is not doable for you, you might straighten this left leg and just cross over where you can, all right? Maybe it's down here, still getting a nice little stretch on the outside of your leg. So let's just take here um, a couple breaths with our right leg crossed over our left. Hmm, whatever breaths feel good, relax your shoulders again. Keep your jaw relaxed. You might close your eyes. Let your eyelids relax as well. Your forehead is soft. Let your belly be soft as you try to take each inhale down into your belly. And then relax and soften as you exhale. All right, continue. We're gonna change legs. So again, whatever works for you, or maybe this doesn't work at all. And if, if it doesn't, that's okay. You can just keep both feet on the floor. And then we'll take a couple more breaths. take both feet to the floor there I hope you feel better I'm sure you do maybe even more energized um, I've never done uh, a yoga practice that didn't make me feel better so hopefully you feel better and I hope I get to see you again thanks for joining me we'll see you next time namaste